What's going on YouTube? Ben Hover here with the Dose Media Network. And in today's video, I'm gonna be taking an early look at a few value plays on prize picks for week four in the NFL. Starting off here with Chris Olave, over 70 and a half receiving yards. Same starting quarterback, Derek Carr is expected to miss this game with a shoulder injury he suffered against the Packers last week. Normally, I wouldn't be playing the over on a wide receiver playing with a backup quarterback. However, as far as backup quarterbacks go, it doesn't get much better than Jameis Winston. Famous Jameis, aka the Blind Bomber, aka the LASIK legend, will be starting here in a tasty revenge game matchup against his former team, the Tampa Bay Bucks, who are currently allowing the seventh most receiving yards to opposing wide receivers. And while we're on the subject of seventh most, that also happens to be where Chris Olave fits in in terms of targets at the wide receiver position tied for seventh most in the league through three weeks. Olave is also seventh in receptions as well as yards after the catch and sixth in the NFL in air yards, he has the second most deep targets of any player in the league. And while I wouldn't call Winston an upgrade on Derek Carr for the Saints, I don't think it's a stretch to call him an upgrade for Chris Olave in this spot. Winston's a far more aggressive downfield passer, and that just so happens to be where Olave makes his bread and butter. Olave went 5 for 80 against Tampa in Week 2 last year with Winston under center, and their secondary appears to be worse now than it was then. Everything about the spot sets up well, so I'm locking in Chris Olave as a top value play on prize picks this week. Now, if you're new to the channel, we have officially launched our premium Discord channel, Dose Premium. Joining this channel will give you access to every single pick'em slip played by myself and our team throughout the year across every site, prize picks, underdog sleeper, in addition to our straight bets, moonshot parlays for the vibes, and more. So if you'd like to support the channel and tail our full slips, make some money for yourself along the way, the link to join Doe's Premium is in the description to this video. The next prop that I want to talk about here comes from the game of the week, and that's going to be the over on Josh Allen at 273 and a half passing yards. This line is just too low. The Bills play at home against Miami right now, a team that couldn't be hotter. Tua is the league favorite for MVP right now. Tyreek is unstoppable, and Jalen Waddle is expected to be back on Sunday. This game has far and away the highest total of the week at 53 and a half. Vegas is expecting fireworks, and so am I. We saw these two teams meet three times last year, including the playoffs. In those three games, Josh Allen's passing yards were 400, 304, and 352. I just don't see many paths to this game failing, especially with it being at home for Buffalo. I like pairing this yardage prop with Gabe Davis at 44 and a half receiving yards. I'll be on the lookout as well later in the week for Stefan Diggs targets and receptions when they drop. Tyreek Hill, aka the Buffalo Bills killer, is also poised for another big week. I like him as a bring back to these slips. So again, if you'd like to see the full four, five, and six leggers that we cook up, correlated slips that we're going to build throughout the week, check out the Discord link down below. For the final prop of this video, we're going to be sticking with passing yards, but switching things up and taking the under, and that'll be on Zach Wilson at a lowly total of 174 and a half passing yards. Look, throwing for less than 175 yards in a game is extremely difficult to do in today's NFL for a starting quarterback. We're talking, what, 87 and a half passing yards per half? Yet, somehow, Wilson has managed to go under in three straight games. The Jets' opponents so far this season, we have Dallas allowing the second fewest passing yards per game. We have the Bills allowing the third fewest passing yards per game. And we have New England allowing the sixth fewest passing yards per game. Now, enter week four. We have a home matchup against the Kansas City Chiefs allowing, wait for it, the fifth fewest passing yards per game. I'm expecting yet another massive struggle performance for Wilson here, and I think this game being at home is actually significantly worse for the Jets offense. I think it'll be a hostile home environment with an angry and resentful fan base that wants to see Wilson benched. I mean, hell, I think there's actually a really good chance that he does get benched in this spot. Reports surfaced on Tuesday that Jets head coach Robert Sala is in jeopardy of losing the locker room with tensions rising surrounding Wilson's horrible play. We have Jets legend Joe Nameth in the media calling him out, telling the team that they need to move on. We have lip readers catching Garrett Wilson on the sideline, telling Alan Lazard, quote, he can't throw it. This team is an absolute shambles. Something has to give, and I don't see what that would be besides getting Zach Wilson off the field. 
with all of that being said, whether he does or doesn't get benched, he plays the whole game, he gets benched halfway through. I still think the under is a sharp play here against a stout chief secondary in a game that could quickly get out of control for Gang Green. So there you have it, my three favorite early week value props on prize picks, Chris Olave over 70 and a half receiving yards, Josh Allen over 273 and a half passing yards, and Zach Wilson under 174 and a half passing yards. Don't forget to join the Dose Premium Discord chat if you want to see exactly how we plan to fully utilize these props and more well-built out four, five, and six leg slips. And that's going to be it for today's video. We'll be back with more content on the channel throughout the week. Until then, have a great day.